So, the medium. This is the first big release of 2021. I'm still not used to saying 2020. Um, hang on, just make sure it's the mic on. Because of the way yes, it is. Uh, yeah, so this all seems to be good. We're going to start a new game. We're going to watch the opening cutscenes. I've already had a quick look at the game just to make sure that it runs on my machine. I'm running this on medium um, uh, without ray tracing. Uh, this is simply because my PC is a bit old, and it, for all I've got an RTX card, it's a bit old, and it, yeah, it just doesn't seem to like it. It gets very hot when playing it with ray tracing. So, yeah, we are going to get moving on this. This is just a one-off stream. This is just because it's released day first, big game of the year. Um, figured it'd be worth playing. I want to play most of this game in kind of uh, 4K with the ray tracing on the Xbox, but hey, we're going to give it a try here. So, let's go. Also, I remember this loading screen taking ages when I first started it up. Um, I've moved it onto my SSD, so I'm hoping that it loads a bit faster now. Um, but I do remember it took a very long time. It was a long time sat on this screen. Oh, wait, no, we're ready to go. SSD for the win. It all starts with a dead girl. I haven't watched any of this. This is my first time with the cutscenes. I skipped all this before. That escalated quickly. Was that entirely necessary? Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon. And then the gunshot. She talking to us? It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. Super spooky. That wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. Oh, it sounds like we're in for control levels of um, obfuscation here. day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. To dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit. Fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Okay. 
Uh, special title. Okay. Are, are we in an era now of um of, of having uh, female protagonists with uh, short hair and leather jackets? Because I'm all for it. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, back in 1999. Matrix is out. Life is good. <laughs> uh, read. Uh, Memorial of Holy Guardian Angels, Funeral of Ten, Ultrasound. Ultrasound. Our Lady of the Rosary, Biopsy, Send Package to Marianne, Neurologist Visit, Funeral at 12.30, Ultrasound. This guy had a lot of funerals to go to. Never all since then. Surgery. She was obviously ill and died during treatment. Okay, so my stream seems to be working okay. Marvellous. Um, uh, right. I do love a fixed camera angle. Oh, it's so Resident Evil. Jumbo one brother. Absolutely. No, Jumbo Wumba on the mini disc player. Because I had a mini disc player in 1999. Remember mini discs? They were fucking mint. None of this MP3 bullshit. Shit. I will say. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Despite the fact I'm playing this on medium graphics, this looks great. There we go. Kitchen. It's a messy cat. Okay, so we need to feed the cat. Where's the cat's food? Looks nourishing. Oh, geez. so is a is a dad Polish? Okay, right. Symbolic funeral of the Sietza mine. Good morning, Krakow. He's Polish. Hey, I got it right. Mine is from Sietza mine in Trezeb Trezebinia City. Carried a symbolic black casket. Uh, okay. It's the most style most I didn't realise it's actually the most sell shit. <laughs> really? Wow. Borderlands meets Silent Hill. Uh, feed the there kitty. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. You want to put some like water in that bowl? I fed the cat in Jack's apartment, apparently. That that den <laughs> denoted an achievement. <laughs> I love it when developers don't know what to do with the achievements. <laughs> I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. Also, I love the uh, uncanny valley look on her face. How to develop photos. Illuminate for five seconds. Dip in something grave for five seconds. What is it? Illuminate for five seconds, dip in multigrade for three seconds, dip in stop for three seconds, dip in fixer for three seconds. Okay. Oh, I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Okay. of you, Jack. Shit. Why does he look like Jeff Bezos? What's going on? <laughs> like Jeff Bezos and Ben Kingsley had a baby. I'm following instructions, Oodles. I know you're a rebel and you don't follow instructions. I bet you always pull off the do not remove tag off your mattress as well. Anything going here? Nope. No, oh, kitty. Jack's room. It's like he never. Damn it. I want to pet the cat. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home and. I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. 
Don't have to be. Okay, that seems like a necessary um, exposition. Let me pet the cat. The cat. The, look at that high definition cat. Why can't I pet it? He's beautiful. He's looking up at us. Just want to pet the kitty. Why can't I pet the kitty? Don't want to pet the kitty. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. Oh, the <laughs> What's going on with the, di <laughs> the dialogue? Is uh, <laughs> something. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me so much. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's going to feed you now? He's hissing. He's, the cat's hissing at us because we, we, we're ignoring him. Is that just a graphical glitch or is that... That looks... That's a graphical glitch. Uh, okay, what's he got? Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Oh, she's got wibbly-wobbly stuff. Oh, we've... We've got wibbles. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. The Solidarity Movement. Okay. Was he kind of communist, or...? Anti-communist? You, you, you can't say it like he's part of a movement and then not tell you what the fuck a movement is. Or at least what he was intending to do with the movement. Yep, yeah, come on. Weird to be back in my old room. No, Marxist. So many memories. Oh, I like a, I like a wibbly wobbly timey wimey thing. Oh my god! My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, "Pretty sick, huh?" I was such a dork. Okay, uh, Marianne, three years old, sex female. Initial diagnosis, second degree thermal burns covering 35% total body surface area, trunk and upper limbs, suspected inhalation injury. Care management, stabilization, early wound coverage, respiratory support initiated, fluid resuscitation initiated, pain control initiated, patient placed on high flow oxygen until carbon monoxide poisons rule. Okay, so she suffered some really nasty burns. I used to get a lot of these. That's a real life movement, Maybe is it? they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. I didn't know that was a real life movement. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me something today, Oodles. I'll look it up later. Dear Mr. Orkan, we must request you attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student, but we're sure you realise this behaviour is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioural problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future at the school. Okay. So she was doing medium shit. Kids from the orphanage. Oh, it's always, of them had my love. It's always an orphanage. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of to listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them, to ignore their calls. Matthew was the first <laughs> one I helped pass on. First one I helped pass on. Really hope that she didn't actually kill the kid. Yeah. yeah. I used to have a thing for them. <laughs> Don't know why, really. Oh, the I guess they just used to make me happy. 
Symbolism. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Symbolism really hits you in the face. There's actually something to look at that. No. You're right, this is like Alan Wake levels. Right, we've looked at that, looked at that. Anything over by the bed? No, right, okay, let's go find the front door. I believe it's down here. Yes, it is. Do you know these Eastern European apartments, big high ceilings, lots of space. Yeah. Yeah, so it's why I got, well, why I got the house that I've got here, because I like the high ceilings. I do like a high ceiling. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. Oh, that's a bleak existence. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Really, it sounds pretty Besides, fucking weird. If it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Okay, some graphical oddness, but meh. God, everyone smokes in this game. Every, every, can, can game developers please acknowledge the fact that I'm trying to quit smoking, right? Also, props for having proper electric meters in there. I don't know why, but just that, that level of, like, Half-Life Alex has it as well as just, like, these humble details of world building. I really like it. It makes everywhere seem just that bit more realistic. Really enjoy that as a feature. Oh, I love the swoopy camera. Like, for all the dialogue shite, like, they're doing a lot that I like. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster no. parents. Control is starting to pulse. The oh, the control is pulsing with the rain. Yeah, I just had it there with the flowers uh, going along the balcony. I like the fact the controller pulses with the rain. Oh, hang on. Oh, I missed a thing. The, the last goodbye funeral. That seems like the worst possible name you could call a funeral home. I don't know why. Yeah, the, the way the camera's moving is giving me such Silent Hill vibes. I really like it. A little bit of graphical pop in. Last goodbye. Oh, get down. Come on. Oh, don't make me do this for every lock, please. Jack's in the prep room. Do I have to prep him? You inspect 25 objects a single playthrough. That's that's a really easy object. Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. This is what I mean with um, developers not knowing what to do with um, achievements. Look at 25 things. 25 things are in the first two rooms. Fern in this game has not been able to do stuff while she's chatting to herself. Yeah. Record funeral, Adam Nowak. Family country. Um, Krakow, Mother Hannah. Father Stanislaw. Stanislav. I love that name. Embalm. Uh, okay, yeah. Jack, Mrs. Novak brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral. Marianne. Ah, so she's working the family business. Oh. Here Give me that key. Um, I mean, this tree of life thing is impressive. I feel like I'd be slightly intimidated if I was in a funeral director's office and I saw that. I'm fairly sure funeral directors aren't supposed to like be doing that. Also, loving the parquet floors. Gotta say. So it looks like I have to do that for every locked door. Yggdrasil, that's it. That's a Norse thing, isn't it? Uh, 
Oh, it's the spookers. Anything else down here? Yeah, <laughs> from Dragon Quest. <laughs> of course. Not sure if I'm ready for this. Honestly, I'm amazed that you're watching me and you're not um, balls deep in Dragon Quest. Was it tact or something like that? Pin in. I need his tie. Your special click? No. Where's your tie? Where is the man's tie? In the office, maybe? Weird how the light just seems to kind of appear where it needs to be. I'm assuming it's not supposed to do that, right? Okay, so it's not in here. Oh, oh hang on. Have I, have I got to do the. Uh... There it is. Didn't have to do the sensor thing. You'd normally put the tie on, then put the clip on. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it just burns you from the inside out. There. At least do the tire it's properly, man. Oh yeah, it seems to do the Silent Hill music, isn't it? Akira Yamayoki or something like that. I was I had a bit of the soundtrack playing when I was in in the kind of the stream starting soon screen. Oh, can't you people read? The signs it's closed. <laughs> Oh, the spookies is happening. No. Oh, whoa, whoa. it's all getting a bit Nosferatu, isn't it? Nosferatu. So we're going to get some kind of jump when we come out of here. <gasps> the door. You felt it too. Huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, she's got the trot, hasn't she? Oh. 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 oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. Are you, are you crying, my child? I... It's fine, Jack. Now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. 
So much for aging gracefully. <laughs> Miss Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. It's not important. You... You are crying. Should her lips be moving now? What's wrong, dear? <gasps> oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Ciao. Where is that shh, 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 shh. notebook? Hmm? It's okay, okay Jack. Yeah. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Hmm? It's time to get some rest. Oh, Mary. Yeah? No. I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? So with the fact that the side of his head's caved in Can when I it wasn't done downstairs, I'm assuming he died of a brain tumour. Or an aneurysm or something. I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, it's actually kind of heartbreaking, this. Risky stuff, that. Right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I need... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Be, be good, Mary. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. Oh, man, someone's got onions in here. <laughs> Not how I expect that to go down. anything to have that opportunity to say all the things that were left unsaid, but it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. Oh, bless her. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But no. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... Oh. There's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light is <laughs> almost gone. I'm so distracted by this Let's telephone call. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Help Hello? me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only Hello? hope. Shit. The Blue Batim production. Okay, so this is our intro.
I'm liking that we're getting a lot of Eastern European developers. Like, obviously, CDPR are the big ones now, but, you know, we're starting to see this. We're starting to, um, we've got another... St is there another Stalker coming this year or this generation? Like, I'm liking that the, the scene is getting bigger. Because we had Pathologic 2 last year, which is a very fucking Eastern European game. due to the government funding for media. All right. I mean, I'm all for it. That's a fucking good logo. Gotta, gotta say, that logo's brilliant. Send Jack Spirit away. Game performance is still a bit dodgy, but I don't know if that's just because I'm streaming as well. And off I went. On nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about okay. this guy. Fucking eyelashes do me in felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. Well, like I say, I've got all the ray tracing and stuff like that off. I mean, say, I'm only, I'm not too bothered about it right now. Because I'm only going to be playing this once on the PC, then I'm going to be moving over to the Xbox. So, yeah. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that. Place. Oh, it's so Soviet. <laughs> the workers' resort. Anyone home? I yeah, I think, I think I've got most of the reflections turned down. From Neva... Another fucking achievement! Found a postcard off the groundskeeper. Fuck off. Um, Neva says hello. You would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families. The hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you, F. Stalin's buttons. I, I mean, I think that's what it is. The idea of just a worker's resort. What the? Hello? Thomas? Is he holding a gun? Okay. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. Right then. We got a you are here thing. Evidently not. I'm assuming we're kind of down here because it says it's where the car park is, maybe. Alright, let's have just a walk back. Is there a fence we can climb over? I suppose we could go over. There was a. 
a big bin over here. You want to keep me out, neighbor? Basically, you have to distract the goat to get down the well. Eh? They're going to have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just... stopped. And so, an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Oh, Broken Sword. Crazed workers... Never play Broken Sword. Pursuits. You know, the usual. Wonder history keeps biting us in the ass. <laughs> what? In memory of the victims of World War II, for the daughters and sons of this land, here they rest, buried as they fell, to remind us the whole earth is their grave. All oh, right. Far left as I can go. Okay. That's a very pretty game. Nice. Shares. Yeah. Hello. Creepy chil chil children footprints must investigate. Why do they always investigate the fucking creepy children shit? So we've gone a bit witcher here. Itchy, itchy eye tonight. What's this? Forgot that you can run while doing this. Thank you. Same down here, probably. No, nope, carrying straight on. Nope. No kitty hands on the tree. It's really unnatural to be pulling the trigger and the shoulder button at the same time. I don't know why. Be my way in. 
Oh yeah, that's a fucking good idea, isn't it? <laughs> Have you ever seen a horror film, woman? Warning, due to recently unearthed remains, renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. Oh no. Oh my. Something happened here. Okay. In we go, in we go. The split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Oh, this is, um, disconcerting. Kind of like that. Um. Yeah, I'm not getting through here. Not with the power out. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. I can hear my computer is getting so loud right now. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, Light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. Okay. It's just the thing from the opening screen. It's basically run two games. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's making my computer very loud. I understand why Kieran's computer was about to die. I absorbed the energy. I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? This is so freaky. figured I could use it. Energy's energy. Press and hold RT to charge a spirit blast. Let's go unleash it. Oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Okay, so I knew about the kind of this, the thing that it rendered two games, but I kind of assumed you would be choosing when you s jump between them. So there I was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. I mean, yeah, you could have done it. You could have done a co-op game. You could have done it like um, a way out. Okay, what was that with the run? So she comes around here. Ugh. Caution, fire hazard. Exactly what you want to read. When you're following a cr creepy, ghostly footprints. Yep, up here. Hang on, she's just looked over here. Is there something here? Nope. Which way, footprints? Which way did you go? Or did 
wanted to go this way. You went this way. <laughs> yeah, well, it's horror tropes, isn't it? I think I do think Alan Wake did something similar. I do like the camera angles. So the camera angles are giving me some really good vibes. I'm, I've missed f fixed camera angles and kind of tanky controls. You can keep your over-the-shoulder shit. I guess the footprints must be more of a narrative thing than a technical thing. Oh shit! I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions. There's a convenient arrow on the floor. And none of them good. Boo. Stop giving me achievements, computer! I've had like a hundred gamer score of achievements, I've done nothing. Hold LB. What the shit? I'm here. No, it's definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes. It's that was two achievements time. there. I'm here. No, it's definitely something. Trust me. You made the right call sending me. Yes. It's only a matter of time. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images... Feelings left behind. You only need two to get them all, really. Oh god. I wonder how long this game is. Obviously, there's got to be another way. Yep. Got that. Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. If only I could reach it. It's a dilapidated old building. Why don't you break another fucking window? missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. Huh? Oh, really? Oh, I'm glad it's a Game Pass game. Right, okay, I'm assuming there's probably nothing down here. Let's just investigate the area. So have you actually finished the narrative?
Like, I'm fine with it being a short game. Uh, read summer of 69 inauguration first secretary to the Polish United Workers Party comrade not even going to try that uh, honoured Krakow and took part in an official inauguration at the Neva Resort the new centre of the socialist joy and recreation <laughs> working class of lesser Poland finally has a place to spend family time in the bosom of nature the main building and lodge area are comfortable yet simple as simple are the social Yet simple as simple are the socialist spirit and socialistic spirit and philosophy. Special thanks to the architect, future manager, and committed party member, Mr. Rekovich, who without the Neva resort would be possible impossible to design, construct, and build. Twenty fifth anniversary of establishing Polish People's Republic. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Yeah, I'm starting as a spare bedroom, apparently. Seeing that irritation with like not being able to interact with something while she's having a thought. Uh, honest work. My love, summer in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills, and you know what that means? More work for yours truly. But it's good work. Honest work. Mr. Rekovich said he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw it up. Not this time. Promise. Okay. Anything that we can nick from his car? Hope you don't mind if I uh, pop your trunk. The Eastern European aesthetic with the American accents really weirding me out at this point. Stop giving me achievements! I've inspected 50 objects in a single playthrough. Oh my god, how... That must be an impossible achievement not to get. Hello. This could come in handy. Okay, I got a screwdriver. Ow! Shit! What the hell? That's supposed to be a scare? No one here. I, d I didn't need it. There? The ghost of the kids in here, isn't it? Anything else in the car park? Nope, nope, and nope. This game is £41 to buy. So I guess the fact that it's £41 to buy would imply that it isn't... It's never going to be a triple A length game. For six, sixty pound, you'd expect a good eight hours out of it. Okay. So began the great dumpster heist of nineteen ninety nine. Shut up. Oh, God, shut up. <laughs> Fucking dialogue. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You've just got your love. You shut up. Better be worth it. <laughs> okay. Can we call next week's episode of the pod the Great Dumpster Heist of 1999? <laughs> <laughs> what, you told your wife to shut up or you told, um... Marianne to shut up. Ooh, that saw wave. 
Oh, your wife told it to shut up. <laughs> That's some fucking terrible dialogue. Alright, I'm assuming we don't go through here. Nope. Okay. Right, the presentation's fantastic. Hello? Loving the look of the game. Anyone? Thomas? You there? The Duckling. Polish legend, the dragon of what of what Bivavel Hill? Why did my teeth fall out? Back to school, page nine. Puzzles and crosswords, page ten, and much, much more. Okay. I am there. Main entrance, lobby, reception, elevators, pool, sawn, and day room. Okay. Welcome to the Trump International Hotel. Go through the door, no. Why, why couldn't I read it from that side of the desk? Hotel Registrar, Kowalski, Brunen, Smuk, Halina, Maura, Victoria, Gelasso, Boris. It's huge. Sinners be damned. Vote vote for Pedro. <laughs> why, why a Napoleon Dynamite gag? Yeah, before the film came out, before the film set. Wait, is the film set in 1999? I forget, but I'm sure it's before the film set. Um, you and me. Oh my god. Where's Mike Eislin? Enslin? Boy's best friend is his mother. Evidently. Fuck me, I'm bored. Stay in the lines. <laughs> I, I'm all for Easter eggs and references to things you like, but oh my god, just tone tonally vote for Pedro. I just <laughs> this fucking tickle. Star of the Bolshoi Theatre, Vivian, the Neva Workers Resort. Oh god, there's junk in the Slav junk. Slavic junk is a sp particular kind of junk that I like. I mean, this is just straight up Silent Hill too. In fact, this is almost. Hello. This is pretty much copy for copy the sequence in Silent Hill Thomas? Two where uh, James gets the torch. Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old-fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. Go spooky vision. See where the kid is. Are you going to touch it and then split? Don't think that's as scary as they were intending it to be. You startled me. I did, didn't I? You look. <laughs> I'm sad, Max. Marianne. I love the kid's design. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? 
I used to have a lot of friends here. Something happened to them, Mary? Uh, 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 I, I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been. been nice. It was. Not anymore. So, tell me, what happened? Uh, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a few of them stayed. But I have one of those lights. I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Marianne? <gasps> yes. Well, would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything, Marianne! I'm for a man. Way. Damn. I need to get up there somehow. Okay. Interesting. I love the kids' design. Stop giving me achievements. Um right, so both parts of me have to be able to get upstairs. Okay. An elevator. Might as well if it works. Sadness. I wished I knew her real name. I wished I knew. Shit. Okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and present hold B for an out of body experience. Oh, okay, so we can separate. Right, so we need to find the power thing. Gotta move fast. An out-of-body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Okay, nice mechanic. causing my frame rate to get as janky as it can possibly be though. I like that the font is different. Okay, Marianne. Now get your ghostly ass back and power up that elevator. Oh, I also yeah, I like the way that our body's kind of disintegrating. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I have to go to the second floor or the first floor. Okay. Now where did she go? 
from here. Meeting rooms, elevators. Am I, am I in the wrong place? Oh, okay. Huh. What is that? <gasps> the only thing I don't like about this is knowing which side of the screen to pay attention to. Is there any cave some description to get into there? Fuck! Spur shields! Holy shit! I didn't even know I could do that. Great, Marianne. Great. Marvelous. Excellent acting. Let's just investigate this room first before we move on. It's such a freaky mechanic. I do like it though, it's really interesting. Even though it's... My PC sounds like, sounds like it wants to take off. Uh, see the kind of texture pop in and shit like that. I think there's anything specific on the worlds here that makes a difference. Nope. Okay. Through here. Okay. Me shivers. Looks like the only way. Great. What is that? Is that our first F bomb of the game? It feels cold. Memories of grief. Loneliness. The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Okay. An 
old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. Ursula Anna, surname Rostokowski, 41. Hypophysine, buspironine, uh, diagnosed with depression, hysteria, insomnia, malnutrition, treat with electroshock, refill six times. Sly, yes I did, finish prayer last night. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. I know, we actually finished a game on modern escapism. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, first finished game for us, yeah. It is actually since we started streaming back in what October, November. Use L to find the point of recollection. Ah, sunflower, weary of time, for my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. I suspect that it's not going to be that happy. Ah, uh, sunflower, weird. Oh, Mr. Tark. To be fair, Rudolph's had a bit of a break from streaming, but he's coming back to it. Biggie's still working through um, Dark Souls. But he'll be at that for about three or four years, I think. Yes, yeah, so we need to get rid of this spatchcocked person to get into here. Bath full of blood. Oh, Jesus. Well, to be fair, he set the challenge. He's, he's, he's the one working through it. We've told him he can stop any time he wants. Spirit form. I don't have to go back. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that was disturbingly satisfying. What's wrong with you? No, so I thought you said there were no jump scares, oodles. Oh, the frame rate's getting janky. Of a memory strong enough to defy this place. Okay, uh, uh, 
Get the memory. There we go. You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh, look at this mess. Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. I'm here for you, my love. This man, Tarkovsky, he ended up as her patient? Why do I get a Nurse Ratchet vibe from this? I had the strength to cut you out. You don't deserve to exist. You're nothing. There have been times when I thought about ending it all. But I was too afraid that a part of me would go on, trapped on the other side. Forever. Okay. <laughs> Not really the kind of the dialogue that I'm expecting from a game like this. Alright, so I'm assuming we can probably plant the flower in. Let's put the sunflower in here. And then that gives us... Okay. Now it's strong enough. Okay. Yeah, now I can see that. I'm not going to lie, this is pretty badass. Medium rare, you burn through the moths using spirit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Uh, are you going to make some stupid comment about this? the uh, torch through here. Yeah, there's a razor. Ugh, God, that's bleak. Look at the flesh textures of... Uh, what, what was that one a couple of years ago? Agony. Okay, I need more power. Uh, reclaim a history. Fire erupts in the sky. Explosions echo across the wilderness. Sparks rain down on the ru ruins of Fort Pulaski, a once impenetrable fortress that saw some of the most intense fighting during the 1945 offensive against Hitler's forces. This time, however, it was not the bombs or mortar fire that lit up the night sky, but a spectacular display that marked the grand opening of the Neva Workers' Resort. The event was attended by leaders of the party, including the first secretary, who had this to say during the gala. Let this site of victorious struggle against the forces of evil become a place of respite for the working people of the Republic in times of peace and prosperity. Liberated in 45 by the heroic Red Army, this historical landmark is currently undergoing renovations, will soon be open to the public at large. The Neva Workers Resort will welcome its first guests, guests at the end of June. 
I mean, Sly, this is junky, but I mean, this is the, this is Eastern European junky. It's Slav junk. This is about this is the, this is top tier junk. Old invoices, outdated documents. Wonder why someone put them out here. Stop giving me achievements, game! God almighty! It's almost complete. The main building turned out better than expected. Now it's just a matter of finishing up the less obvious parts of the resort. God damn, this place is perfect. Remote, peaceful, hidden away from prying eyes. Talk about hiding in plain sight. Took, took some doing to convince them to let us stay. Luckily, I can be quite persuasive when I need to. Oh yeah, I think I finally got it. I'll call it Neva. Do you know something? Some of the janky games are better than the so-called AAA games. Oh yeah, I don't get that. That's what I'm saying. I love a janky game. This one, this one's got some fucking great junk in it. It's dialogue. Some of the dialogue lines are amazing. Okay. Oh shit! I missed something. Sadness? We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> this, Thomas Rekovich. Oh, right. Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I... Uh, I guess. You think he stuck around? Uh, I'm not sure. God, the, Marianne's performance is dreadful. That's not very nice. <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... here. Sadness? It okay. all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. More of the butterfly designs. Um, okay. Me too. What the hell happened here? Someone got mad. It still works. Someone's been using it. Okay. Too small to fit a door. Hmm. Desk key then? Someone jotted this down recently. To do, get up, don't turn off that alarm clock. Medication, double check the forest path. Get to the hotel, clear out the old papers. Get on with the research, develop photos if there's time. Double check the office, books, check up on L. Okay. Burn marks? Broken glass and is that salt? My senses jolted as I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently to call me. Okay. So he's put a map. Signature. 
So he designed this whole place? Who are you, Thomas Rekovich? So this is where I've been. Second to the fifth floor plan of the hotel. Change place a day room. Okay. Grand opening, I assume. Hey, is that the first secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. Oh, how Soviet. Uh, da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. Oh, shockingly so, darling. There that small key fits perfectly. If I have to set a time here, then we're just... That's another thing copied directly from Silent Hill 2. It, move in the clock, hands. That's as far as it goes. Oh my god. We are just ripping off Silent Hill 2 at this point. There. An imprint. Is that... Thomas? Okay. As I moved the clock hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. Shit. Thought I had it this time. It's taking too long. What am I missing? Okay, hang on. Let's move the clock hands back forward again because there was two other sets of peers where you appeared. Something's wrong. It's coming. Okay, and then one more. Well, oh, pretty ancient, actually. Right, come on, Mariam, get in the right place. Just give me. No. Don't do it. I can't. We must. Okay. A spirit well. I could absorb some of that energy. without you. I don't know if I can do this, but enough. Get it together. Okay. Right, let's move the clock forward again. Looks like I'm in for another dive. Gotta check the wiring. I hate to get stuck in there. Okay. Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here on the other side. Well, it doesn't appear to be anything of use in here now. Uh, uh. Let's see if it worked. <sighs> Did it work? Have I missed something? 
So I'm guessing the left is the real woman and the right is a ghost. The person allows her to speak to ghosts. Yeah, effectively, she's she's had some kind of trauma when she was younger, um, and now she's kind of she can exist in both this dimension and the other dimension at the same time. So yeah. Um. Right, have I missed something there? I did the wiring. Activated. Generally speaking, she it seems like her whole thing is to like move people on, like these are like ghosts who are trapped between worlds. Like between this life and the next. Okay. So what did that activate? I don't think it's so much exercising them, it's more guiding them to the next plane. There's, there's a thing there. Is that on the other side of the desk? Nope, never seen it. Nothing else to interact with here. So what did that actually I'm gonna go back to the spirit well. Okay, so I've got to finish whatever's in here first. Right, so let's go back in there. Maybe I didn't give it enough juice. I don't know what state this is in. And that hasn't done anything as far as I can see. So the next step is clearly something in the physical world. Because I can't see anything else I can interact with in here or do or... Rapidly running out of energy. <sighs> Have I missed something important here? Talk to that one. We're back synced. There's nothing else there. Nothing else there. Office. All right, what the fuck am I supposed to do here now? Okay, so both sides are locked. I can't detach in the spirit world and go wandering. Okay, 
that there. We did speak to that one, didn't we? Wait. I can feel something's wrong. It's coming. What's coming? Check the wiring. Might hate to get stuck in there. This is implying that he might be stuck in here. But what triggers off the door? Looking over there. I wonder if I set off the power here. No. Okay, I'm gonna those. Oodles, you still around? Did you do this? I'm giving you permission to backseat. Definitely interacted with everything I can possibly interact with. There's nothing else in here. We've looked at that. Yeah, we've read that. They're both locked. What am I missing? What hasn't haven't I understood from the game? Got a razor blade and a flashlight. Shelves here. Look at the clock. Is it dependent on the time that I'm looking at things? Like if I switch to a certain time, does something different happen? Get through that door then. Right, let's try now. No, didn't mean to do that. Uh, 
Still nothing there. What am I missing? So let's move the time again to the next time. See the. Right, okay, so that's now. That's the current time, 10 o'clock. Can't we must? Yeah, no, nothing on either side. What the fuck? Okay, this is the problem with some of these games. Like, I'm not. It's not that I'm not good with puzzles, but I don't feel like the games give me the right information. I know I need to get in this way. Right, I'm not being an idiot here. It is being particularly obtuse. Yeah, I'm trying to brute force a little, but I'm not really sure what to look for. That's what I'm wondering. Um... Is there any of the memos? Oh wait, hang on a second. Nine o'clock, check up on L. Can I set the clock to nine o'clock? Right, okay. What do we got here then? Wait. I can feel something's wrong. It's coming. Is that door open now? No, it's not. <sighs> Something is coming, he says. No, oh, hang on. No. Is that a graphical glitch or something I can interact with? Oh, you motherfucker. Go back to the clock. What was the first one? Four? Um, 3 a.m., 3.15, 3 30, 4, 5, 7, and 9. Okay, let's try... Right, four is the earliest. So what was four? Get to the hotel, clear the old papers. Five, get on with research. So that's that one. The papers on the desk? Are we thinking the newspaper? I mean, the paper's at four. So 
So if we get that, that gives us a bit of power. Get on with research, develop filters of this time. So that would be going into here. So the problem is, I need to get Marianne into here. Nothing I can do with this. I've already triggered that. Do it against the case. Yeah, nothing else happening there. So the photos, to do the photos, I'm assuming that would be here. But I need to be there in the real world, not in the other world. So this is the problem, because... I'm going to go back through here. The door is open for Ghost Marianne. But for real, Marianne, it's this cupboard. And the power's on, but I need to move it somehow. So I need to work out what the mechanic is to move it. Yeah? And of the things I can interact with, there isn't really fucking anything. Uh, seven, double check the office books. So we didn't set the clock to seven, so let's see what the seven does. Shit. Thought I had it this time. It's taking too long. What am I missing? I know, right? Closed as well. Is there anything in the ghost world that will help me here? Newspaper there, door there. Uh, get up, don't turn off that alarm clock. 315, medication. 330, double check the forest path. 4. Get to the hotel, clear out the old papers. 5. Get on with research, develop photos of this time. 7. Double check on the office, uh, double check the office, books. 9. Check on L. Books, yeah, books, I haven't found any. There is a bookcase. Oh! I didn't... <sighs> Yeah, there's two bookcases. What time what time does it say on the book? Seven. What the time we have now? Yeah. So there's nothing on either side. There's no books there. Uh, files there. The hidden door is that's up here. So you can go into it at this point.
Um, we use Wibble Vision, see if there's anything else useful. Hang on, what have we got there? There's the power thing going into it. Yeah, that's the... I think that's the power. No, wait, hang on. Uh -huh. Oh, you mother... F okay. Absolute Let's motherfucker. Oh, boy, I got up. Okay. <sighs> oh, I'll never get used to this. Oh, oh, God, I feel like an idiot now. Right, okay, we're back out of being split, so we're just single Marianne for now. Ugh. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Don't forget about the red lights. Light five seconds, time in each tray three seconds. Okay, I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. Looks like there's a train missing. That's one. Two more to go. Okay. Nope. Doesn't work. This should come in handy. <sighs> Hope he's not using it as a textbook. Malev's Maleficarum. Or Hammer of Witches. Malev's Maleficarum. So we've got some dude interested in the occult. I could sense something stirring behind that symbol. Like a gust of wind moving a curtain. Getting stronger, I can feel it seeping through, creeping into my mind. It wants out. It cannot get out. I won't let it. Even if it means... No, I'll find another way. Okay. Suppressing, huh? Not sure I like the sound of that. Suppressing the supernatural. Okay. So this was the guy's books. Oh, there's a chemical. So we've got the stop, we've got the fixer, we need one more chemical. What's the other chemical we need? Developer. So I just need the developer now. Where would that be? No worry, slight. You do you. all of them. Okay, so many achievements from this game. Okay. Take this. Put the photo paper down.
progress. It's a photo of me. What the hell? Oh, spooky. Who's there? Okay, right, keep running, keep running, keep running. Let me try you on. Oh god, no! Good lord. Uh, not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures. Oh, great. Full stealth. Okay, so looks like I'm just following it. Assuming I'm probably going to get caught here by him. That looks like where I'm going.
Okay. Okay, so we're just going to burn our way through here. You just missed the Spider-Man style 4 stealth section. Now we go back to a light jog despite some horrible skin monsters trying to s steal our skin. Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. Lucky them indeed. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, <laughs> I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? Okay, then. I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. You couldn't? Of course you can. Just run. Anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Does she? She's dead. How much help can she need? Where'd that radio come from? That wasn't there before. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? Okay, so we need to go to the day room. Are you trying to show me the way?
I still haven't got the key for that. My dearest, I know I promised a visit, but guess what? Else? Guess what? I got promoted. Yes, really. Meet the new chief of staff. I really think this might be it. A fresh start. A place to call home. For us. I mean, you, me, the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever. F. Who is this F guy? Quality time by the lake. There's a map here. D room is number seven, so I'm there. Okay. Did I read that? I've read that, yeah. So D room, let's get there. I would need to go down here. Thank you, creepy doors. That'll be the day room there. I need a key or some pliers for that. What now? Okay. Oh, thank you. Very polite, these creepy doors. First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least sadness was still with me. In a oh. Way. Sounds like my depression. <laughs> right, on that. Can't climb up there. Fine, fine. Is that? Oh. oh god, it's everywhere. How many people died here? It's been a it's quite a while into the game before we saw some claret. What are we, two hours thirteen in? There's like old rubber face there. Frame rate's getting really choppy depending on the effects. I'm not even running this on ultra. Like, I'm running this on low. Eh, not low, on medium. But, like, no ray tracing, none of that shit. I'm trying to maintain 60. Okay, what am I looking at? Why, why are you giving me. That's more blood. Why are you giving me the option to look if there's nothing to actually look at? Bring this currently three set. Worth it, definitely. It's a great game. Saying last night, like the, the last hour of it gets a bit chaotic, but other than that, it's a absolutely cracking game. And probably the last decent immersive sim we'll get for a very long time. Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My superiors want it to go away. I want it to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? Comrade? I... Yes, I understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. Yeah, I wonder if I needed to use uh, insight here. Nope, nothing. Just some fucking random shit. She did it. She killed them all. It was like something possessed her. Okay, possessed nurses. Is that nurses. really what you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. It's what I saw. Shit, hang on. 
Okay, let's do it again. Actually, she killed them all. Skipped it. It was like something possessed her. Is that really what you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. Nurse. But how? Why? How? Why indeed? Let's make sure there's anything else I've missed. Not just to get down there. All right, okay. Let's head through that door then. supposed to do with that? But what, is there anything there in the paddling pool? So why, why, why did you want me to do that game? Right, there is no way on the stick I can move that. Okay, no, I don't get you then. I don't know what you're trying to do. Just give me a random trolley there to push into the corner and nothing else I can do with it. Like, it wasn't in the way or anything. Cover your nose. Try not to look at them. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ugh. Definitely didn't need to feel that. Right. So I'm finding this game less sad, more just mournful. Like, it's quite emotional in places. I wish this was it. The moment I pluck up the courage and actually send this one. Seems so easy. Just throw it in the mailbox. Why can't I? Someday, I promise. I love you with all my heart. Bloody handprints on that one as well. Oh, frame rate's taking a right tanking, yeah. I think I need to upgrade my PC soon. Or just stop playing current releases. I can work through some of the massive backlog I've got. Francis, what am I supposed to do with you? Once Neva shut down, you begged me to keep you on, said you needed time to sort things out, said you could be useful, but now I know you're just using me as an excuse. Like those letters you keep writing. I know you never sent a single goddamn one. Family's doing good, Mr. Rekovich. I'll probably go home this next spring, summer at the latest. Who are you kidding, Frank? Hell, as long as you're here, at least I can keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't get hammered and pass out in a snowdrift. It's the least I can do. Good old Frank. Too scared to live, too stubborn to die. Sometimes I feel guilty using you like this, but then I remember I need all the help I can get. Okay, so that sounds like there's some fucked up shit going on. The groundskeeper's called Frank. He's obviously got some issues. This game is pretty shitty for optimization. Apparently it's terribly performing everywhere. Oh, that's actually a comfort then. <laughs> really can't afford to be upgrading my PC. I mean, it's, it's why I'm only doing the one stream of it on here, because I want to play it on my Series X. Apparently that's what it was made for, so, you know. Locked. Not true. Hey, Marianne. You look like shit. Okay. Why? 
Why was that a thing that needed to be programmed in? I understand if they were going for a scare out of it or something, but... Are those... bolt cutters? That might be useful. If only I could reach them. I'll get one at some point. I also need more RAM. I only have 16 gig of RAM. So I could do with upgrading that anyway. Um, process is fine. I think it is just my GPU that I need to, to, to boost up. Because I'm using a Ryzen 7, like, 3200, I think, or 20... Or it might be a 2700X, but either way, it's a, it's a pretty decent processor. There's the bolt cutters up there, so how do we get up there then? Exactly. It's almost like it's a video game. The question is, how do we get up there? Oh. Uh huh. Whoa. Sadness? How did you. This looks so shitty. It's amazing. Ah, shit. Was a summer camp. Yeah, right. I had one as well. Hello? Anyone? I'm sure they're here somewhere. No, Bernard wouldn't do that. He's nice. Ugh, she's talking to herself again. What a freak. Hey, don't talk about her like that. That is the thing they ripped off from Tomb Raider. Oh, there has been some stuff they've ripped off directly. That, um, there's been two Silent Hill 2 moments that they've ripped off completely. Uh, there is a Napoleon Dynamite reference in, uh, when you first walk into the hotel. Like, there is not an original bit in this game. I mean, like, this whole section... Great, it's a great exposition dump, but... Uh, didn't need to happen. I've already walked through all this. Guys, <laughs> come on, it's dark in here. It's, it's a pretty this standard Resident funny. Evil kind of thing as well. I really don't think we should. Shut the heck up, Bernard. Okay. Can 
Yeah, through that. You want to show me something? What the hell? It looked back at me. Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? Don't know. We haven't been told anything about Snowdrop. This time a Skyrim thing where you flip to find cores, but this isn't just find the spot and then get a few voice lines. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm done with whatever I'm doing here. Seen this? Here she comes, God. I've got her. Come on, Ghost Trail. What are you trying to do? Tell me. Yeah, I've seen this echo. What haven't I seen? Okay, Spirit Trail, what haven't I seen? There's something to do with the mirror. Interesting. As I got closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I can feel it calling out to me. Oh God, this looks so shitty. <laughs> it's a very pretty game, wasn't it? This whole mirror thing looks really shitty. Yeah, it's not a very good clue. It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Is this place? I mean, you know what what this place is. You've been here. You just here separated from your body. What's happening? No, no, please, mommy. So we head over there. Can we get to the bolt cutters? Great, creepy faces, that's exactly what I want to see. Stop laboring the point, just cut the skin. Right. Do I have any... Right, I need to 
to find some light. Hey, that's where those bolt cutters are. So close, and yet so in a different reality. <laughs> ah, source of light. A spirit well. I could use some of that energy. Is here. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart, broken beyond repair. Burn, you little fucks. Point of that was we've just burned our way through a room, I guess. There's nothing in here. Okay, well we'll just charge up and then um hop back through the looking glass. That cat figurine was the key. I can't pass through without it. Okay. So do we need to find our own cat figurine? Okay. Oh god. What happened to you? Wait. I know you. You were that boy. Bernard, was it? He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. His face? Follow the spirit trail. Okay, so there was a reason to do this. This was Bernard. yours, wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. Everything, everything about this kind of dark world, underworld thing is very much like. Todd McFarlane and HR Geiger had a baby. I'm sorry you had to go through all this. It's time for you to find peace. Bernard. Thank you. Convenient. Ever. Looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it too. Ever so convenient. No. Uh, Stay with me. Stay. Back to life, back to reality. No, no. What the fuck? How? 
Great. I Tran. can't believe it. That thing could travel between worlds. There was no escaping it. Transdimensional beasties. That's exactly what I want to see. There's those bolt cutters again. Gotta be a way to reach them. I feel like Silent Hill did this perfectly fine without um, the extra dialogue. You know? Can we go through that door? No. Because there's some inconvenient amounts of just things bet between me and the door. There's a law thing in here. Great. Another mirror. Take that in a second. Locked. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. There's oh, more of them. <laughs> what have they done to you? No names, no faces, no way to form a bond. Just like Bernard. Okay. World skip. And there then we there we go. go. Oh, look at that key. Yep. Key to the examination room. Oh, look at that. Resident Evil, this is not. But I do like that there are mirrors around everywhere. Okay, so we can't go. Right, so we're going to have to hop with the mirror. It's a long way to a very short point, this, isn't it? Dead end. Oh. 
Poor stealth man. These are all mirrored walls, could I not just like zip over to the other world? Am I supposed to have done something to him? You think the She's a ballerina? I said, you think more is Vivian? This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. Nice card. Was Vivian one of your stars? Eugene Denisek, impresario of the stars. Yeah. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Oh, lovely. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Mm. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. Yeah, they're, they're, they're early around. There's, there's one of them um, in the... Um, in the foyer, you see quite early on. Yeah. This wasn't her. Use inside for at least 15 minutes. Stop giving me achievements, man! That name, it's everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Yeah, I'm beginning to think more is Vivienne. Yeah, they've been dotted about. Also, one one thing that's really irritating about this game is you can't when um, Marianne's talking to herself. You? What are you? No! Get out! You can't interact with anything. No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. And still no name. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. Okay. Would this be it here? Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something. Okay. Uh. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Did you really, Marianne? Did you really sense that? Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene... That slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. <laughs> God, it's like Max Payne level, but without the charm. Hello? Yes, this is Vivian. Room 347. I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be frank. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Hmm. 
Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria? That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. A big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Okay. Did we do that one? We did that one. Anything else in here? You called the other one Ellie when you were talking on the phone, so... Tori, it's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. Okay, so I can return the mask and... Okay, so we'll go back and we'll um, send this woman away. I'm not gonna lie, it felt good. Putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. Okay. Go back to here, I think. Yep. Oh, hang on. What was that? <gasps> we nearly missed a thing. It's a demon nurse? Old man, bad nurse. Okay. Okay, so maybe a bit more isn't Vivian. Okay. One down, one to go. Better get to it. See the other side of this place. That'd be a convenient mirror right over there. Huh. Some sort of a conference room. I wish I could hazard a guess as this guy might be Eugene. The um the talent agent or manager. And we wanna get a more sequence in here. An attendance. 
Clarence List. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? Okay, so... John, Nicholas, Helena... Okay. Seven. Oh, five. Oh, nine. There's a possessed one around here somewhere. They sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. That voice. That's the guy. Okay, so I'll work out which seat Boris was in. Um, which was nine. So find seat nine, and it's the one opposite. Two, one, four. Nine. So that's Boris's seat. It's this one. So it's number four. And that would be... Nicholas Auscherek. Auscherek? Auscherek? Okay, so his name is Nicholas. But I'm assuming I haven't done anything, I haven't done the right thing here. Because it would have triggered and I would have got a voice line out of her. It's definitely this one. The guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. Oh, God, I've already worked it out, man. Don't make me go through the steps. Okay. This is it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm ahead of you. That's it. Nicholas. go the boating's about to start you know what they say if, no i mean right now yeah okay so the world doesn't pause when you're being hunted by more oh, 
God, frame tankiness. I really hope it runs better on the Series X. Yeah, I'll see you later, buddy. I'm not going to be streaming for too much longer, but cheers for hanging around. I'm in three hours. I think that's. I think I'm about halfway through the game now, so I'm probably going to end the stream once I've done this section. Of a man. You to get some rest. You've earned it, Nicholas. Thank you, man. You did it, Marianne. Sent them away to a better place, I hope. No, anywhere is better than here. Just let me pick you up already. Okay, we'll flip you over. Yes! Fucking finally! Time to get back to the day room. I'm assuming it's not going to be that simple. <sighs> Mr. Rekovich has been unreasonable, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside my other duties, there's poor Mr. Tarkovsky to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps us to herself mostly. Likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations, and I'd swear it sounds like two people talking. She's really gifted. I guess it runs in the family. This place. This is where it started. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the speck that you left. I hope so. Because I oh, want God. you to feel everything. The nurse. It got to her first. But why? Oh. That's quite brutal and quite horrible. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill, where it tasted death, and liked it. My poor, poor Mr. Tarkovsky, whatever happened to you? The test came back, no signs of any brain trauma or dementia, and still I look into your sad, empty eyes, and I have this awful feeling that there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love, I'll take care of you, no matter what. I'll make sure you're happy as can be. 450 milligrams of venlo uh, venlofaxine? I'll cheer you right up. Zoned out on antidepressants. So worth it. I love you, bolt cutters. Every Resident Evil. Yep. Come on, come on. And oh, there you go. Kind of sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. Oh my god, really? Or a movie star, like in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Seriously? Is. What is wrong with this woman? Okay, Marianne. 
Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. I keep seeing it in my dreams the other place, dust and death as far as the eye can see. A feeling of nothingness tearing at my soul, I wake up choking, feeling the dust burning through my lungs, beg for it to stop. He says there's no helping it. Then again, he would say that, wouldn't he? Uh, where, am I, where am I going for the day room? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay. Cutscene time. Now we're splitting up again. There he is. There you are. Thank God. You're all right. I was so worried. Oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. From hell. From rage. Rage? It was like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. Well, it, don't it's tell okay. anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you... Right, okay. I'm going to leave this here for now. Um, I enjoyed this game. Yeah, it's fine. Less than a minute ago. Yeah, I enjoy this game. Um, it's interesting. Different. It's not some, not something that I've... Um, the kind of thing I've played before. So, but that's kind of all I want to do on stream here. I mean, that's more than I want to do. I was only intending on playing the first maybe hour or so of it, and I've done three hours of it. Mostly because Oodle said it was a really short game. So I will finish the rest of it on the Xbox Series X, and I'll probably enjoy it more. Uh, I was really struggling with the frame rate, to be honest. The fact the frame rate kept dropping was just... Uh, that was annoying. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for following, and all the lovely people who've hung around tonight. Uh, come back on Saturday for whatever Oodles is streaming, and make sure to do check out the pod. It's a cracker this week. Um... We all had a great time with it, and it was a lot of fun. So, yes. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, at Modern Escapism, and we'll see you next week. I don't know if what I'll be streaming next week, since I finished Prey, but um, Saturday, Oodles will be on something. Hopefully Biggie will be back on Monday. 
just just follow and will things will happen when they happen <laughs> anyway thank you for watching and good night